I raised this with Peggy last week, and Peggy has written subsequently quite brilliantly on this. This is this Durham report, which laid out in detail how a conversation between our former foreign minister, Alexander Downer, and a Trump campaign volunteer, George Papadopoulos, in a London wine bar in 2016, led to what has become the greatest case, allegedly, of election interference in US history. So the FBI seized on one paragraph where Papadopoulos had said that Russia could help the Trump campaign with the release of information damaging to Hillary Clinton. The FBI didn't question the information. They ignored their own Russian analysts and launched Operation Crossfire Hurricane in July 2016, a full-scale investigation into alleged links between Donald Trump and the Russian government, seemingly with the intent to grievously harm Trump's reputation and his chances of winning in 2016. Now, Peggy, this was all a fabrication. Seriously, shouldn't someone be in the dock? Well, they should, but we know that the left is never held to account. And actually, you know, people miss the beauty of Donald Trump, and he was actually very funny. And a lot of this came after the DNC servers were hacked. Hillary Clinton was subpoenaed. 33,000 emails that she had deleted had been subpoenaed. And Donald Trump kind of half jokingly said, hey, Russia, if you're listening, maybe you can help find the 33,000 emails that have gone missing. And then he said, I bet there's some real beauties in there. I mean, this was kind of tongue in cheek stuff. And he was seen as this threat to America and the world colluding with Russia. But we know that the left is always guilty of the very things they accuse us yeah. of. And with the Durham report, we're seeing that these fingerprints go all the way back to Hillary Clinton herself and even to the White House where Barack Obama was briefed about this intelligence coming in that wasn't intelligence at all. It had no substantiation. It couldn't be substantiated. They knew it was false and he green-lighted to go ahead with this Absolutely. investigation anyway. Well, that's right. Now, this special counsel, dead right. Now, John Durham, the special counsel, has concluded, it's a 300-page report, that neither US law enforcement nor the intelligence community had any actual evidence of collusion that they were holding at the commencement of the Crossfire Hurricane investigation. So here we've got a 300-page Plus, none of this in Australian papers, by the way, none of this in Australia, with the exception of the brilliant young Australian in Washington, Adam Crichton, 300 page report describing how the FBI, supposedly an impartial federal law enforcement agency, became a tool of the Democratic Party and of the Clinton campaign. And that produced the fraud that eventually became the Russia collusion hoax. Now, even Alexander Downer himself, according to the Durham report, later revealed, and I quote Downer, there was no suggestion that it was collusion between Donald Trump or Donald Trump's campaign and the Russians. That's in the report. Downer is quoted. And the Durham report says, the FBI discounted or willfully ignored material information that did not support the narrative of a collusive relationship between Trump and Russia. Peggy, the FBI investigation then led to the Mueller inquiry, which extended the political smear while coming up with zero evidence of any collusion between Trump and Russia when it was publicly released in 2019. And there's still no evidence seven years later. What the hell is going on with the institutional framework in America? Well, it's very frightening. And even the left, the media on the left, can't ignore this anymore. And even some Democrats in Congress are concerned about this. This past week, there was information released that these FISA warrants um, that go out where you can spy on as a foreign intelligence um, surveillance court, they can get these warrants and it's meant to be to spy on international foreign um, actors. But 270,000 times information was collected on Americans without warrants. And so as the FISA court looks to renew its um, verification from Congress, Congress, even some on the left are saying, we're not going to do it because they not only went after information that was unfounded on Donald Trump, but at the same time, they ignored factual information that was against Hillary Clinton, the Clinton campaign, against her campaign finances. And so the scales have been tipped 
going after Donald Trump with unfounded information and ignoring a mountain of information against Hillary Clinton Mm -hmm. and now against Joe Biden and his family as well. 